uh, day two in Las Vegas. How have you found the trip so far? Yeah, look, we've hit the ground running, had a couple practices. So I think uh, with the quick turnaround and the game fast approaching on Wednesday, us just getting up and down a little bit is the most important thing. Seven new faces among the group. How important is a trip like this, I guess, to, to fast track the, the development and the, the chemistry among the group? Yeah, look, we had our couple games against the NBL One West, uh, which got us kick-started. This is the next step in all of that uh, with, you know, the likes of Corey and Keanu with the group, but then Hiram joining us from the World Cup. So uh, with, with the full squad together now, a uh, great opportunity for us. On Hiram, he arrived this afternoon. Um, what has, is he available for this week? Is he, is he going to be managed through having only joined the group or is he sort of match fit coming from a, a World Cup campaign? Yeah, look, uh, we'll, we'll manage him, but uh, he'll certainly be playing. I'm sure he's hungry to get out there uh, and join his new team. Uh, we're excited to have him and what he brings. Uh, and at the tail end of the World Cup, he got to play some meaningful minutes for New Zealand and did a great job. So uh, really excited to see how he fits in with our group. And a couple other faces who haven't um, featured for the Wildcats this pre-season, Keanu Pinder and Corey Webster, where are they at at the moment? And are we likely to see them on Wednesday night? Yeah, look, uh, I, I feel like we'll have a full roster participating in Wednesday's game. Uh, Corey was just on the bench against uh, NBL One West, but he's ready to go. He's been practicing Keanu. Uh, you know, he's had a disruptive off season. Uh, he looks pretty good. Uh, but we'll, hopefully he'll be available for Wednesday as well. Well, Keanu got through a, a pretty big session today and he's been matching up against Alex Sire. Yeah. How, how exciting was that battle? And I guess how much are these two going to push each other throughout the pre-season and obviously into the new season as well? Yeah, look, uh, from an individual battle, it's going to be great to watch those guys go at each other because they're, they're unique with their skill sets. Keanu, very agile, athletic, mobile where Alex obviously mobile, but 7-1 and brings a different presence and look to our team. Um, so they'll, they'll certainly push each other. I think uh, Alex having to defend Keanu every day or really prepare him for uh, someone that he's going to have to defend nightly in the NBL. Uh, but then also, like, Alex just brings a great dynamic to our defense with the way that he can anchor and protect the rim. On the J League Ignite, what are you expecting out of them? They've got, I guess, an interesting mix of um, you know top NBA draft prospects and then also some really seasoned veterans as well. Yeah, I'm sure their their coach will be looking at it the same way I am in the fact that uh, both rosters have very good experienced players, people that have been exceptional around the world at all kinds of different levels and leagues, uh, and then sprinkling in some high-end talent, which we've done a great job with this off-season. So. Uh, I'm sure both teams will be really trying to see where we are at this point because if I understand they're going to Europe or uh, to another international event so they'll be using it as a tune-up for themselves as well. A nice moment this morning with Mike Dunlap surprising his, um, his former player in, in Jesse Wagstaff, obviously a, a former coach of yours as well. How, excited is it, how exciting is it to have someone of Mike's calibre join the the coaching staff as a, as a guest coach for the next few days? Yeah, look, uh, it's, it's great that he got reunited with Jesse. Uh, you know, anyone that's done uh, the college thing here in America, your, your college coach is very influential in your career. Um, but then for myself, I played for Mike in, in Adelaide. Um, but having him around our uh, coaching staff to observe and give us some good pointers uh, will be very beneficial for us and a fresh set of eyes on our group and an unbiased set of eyes as well. It looked like Jesse had a bit of a spring in his step at training today as well. I heard Kyle Zunick say uh, yeah. we wound back the clock to, to 2010. Yes, uh, there was some comments that maybe we need Dunlap around a little bit more, so Jesse's more dialed into a full practice. <laughs> and what are you hoping to get out of these couple of games over in, in Vegas before the Blitz and obviously the, the regular season getting underway at the end of September? Yeah, look, for us it's uh, guys understanding how we can play and how we come together as a team. Uh, I think, uh, you know, every team has higher level of expectation right now. Uh, it's, it's putting our practice into what we believe in who we can become. So uh, very important for us to continue getting better no matter who the opposition is at this time of the year.